Hello YouTube, Decaz here, here to present my ride down West Side Road along the western edge of the beautiful Okanagan Lake. Uh, this road goes between Highway 97 just northwest of Vernon, BC down to West Kelowna, BC. As you can see from the very beginning, it is a very fun, windy road it goes through a variety of terrain, a little bit of flat farmland to begin at the north, uh, down through windy, twisty mountainside roads that services residences and campgrounds along the road. Uh, it is extremely popular with motorcyclists, but you also get people going camping, there's lots of RVs here, and the speed limit is only 60 to 70 kilometers an hour, but as you can see it doesn't take a lot of speed to really enjoy this road, um, to learn about body positioning and just taking corners safe here. Just, this is one of my favorite parts of the road here, it's just constant left, right, left, right. I'm about to get passed by a Ford Fusion here that's been tailing me. Uh, it's been catching up with me on flat ground, especially up hills. My Yamaha Vino 125 only makes seven and a half horsepower, so it does get a little slow up those hills. But I would manage to pull away from him every time the twisties came up. So uh, you will see this Ford Fusion later on in this video. One of the campground signs we just passed is for Pintree Provincial Park, one of the two campgrounds that are along this route. Uh, Pintree is located roughly midpoint on West Side Road. Coming up here is a little resort community called La Casa. Uh, La Casa is located several kilometers south of Pintree Provincial Park. Uh, it's a little resort community so a lot of seasonal residents, although some residents have decided to call La Casa home year-round. It's a quiet secluded little community. Um, very quiet. Sometimes I feel bad uh, riding my Vino 125 through this community and kind of disturbing that peace. So. Then south of La Casa here, um, the road is in quite rough shape as you can see. Um, my scooter is kind of bouncing around. So if you do decide to ride on this road, just be, be cautious here. Now this is one of the couple of times where I've been able to catch up with this Ford Fusion ahead of me, the same one that passed me earlier in this video. It just goes to show that even a lowly 125cc scooter producing 7.5 horsepower is able to outperform a majority of cars whenever there are curves involved. Now there is one exception to that, uh, Celica Tech who does their annual run of the Ogopogo cruise down West Side Road every BC day long weekend. Uh, there are a bunch of mostly Toyota Celica owners or Toyota Celica owners for you Americans, uh, but they've also expanded to other makes and models too, just a chill group and they know how to drive this road. So uh, I would not be able to catch up on my scooter here. Now I'm fast forwarding through this section here. Uh, they reconstructed this portion of the road last year with, as you can see, wider lanes, there's a shoulder and concrete barriers. And they're currently in the midst of rebuilding this section here that I'm riding through. 
Um, they've smoothed out some of the curves. Um, it's really in the name of safety. That's still a fun to ride road, um, much like the Sea to Sky Highway that runs between Horseshoe Bay and Squamish. This concludes the ride of the West Side Road in the Okanagan. Thanks for watching.